A full moon and comet share the sky in a special night show this weekend. The release of duality of light and dark. What are we? A lunar eclipse starts everything off Friday night. The moon will pass into Earth's penumbra, or outer shadow. The moon won't be blacked out like in a full eclipse, only part of the moon will be shaded. The penumbral lunar eclipse, as it's called, should be easily visible from much of the world. This eclipse is like many a portal for special intervention within our own Earth reality. What many do not realize is that eclipses are gateways out of this reality giving us the ability to reach parts of us that are not within this reality. It also gives us a lesson in releasing duality. From the moment we are born we are being taught about good and bad and all other forms of duality. Religions play a big role in this. As they all have stories about the dark and the light. Something that is in many ways being used to control what and who we are. We are being taught that we are light, the bad ones are in the dark. The fallen angels, and yes some you also think we are the fallen angels. Because haven't we all lost contact with God, or Source and don't we all have to work our way back into heaven? The explanations are numerous and many of them rely on fear of us having to go through many ways of becoming better people. Behaving better, not do bad things to others. Plain and simple, for many religions we have become bad and now we should become good to earn our place back into heaven. Now for many of us who have realized that we are not just this human body things become a bit more confused, as we now also deal with beings that are not within a human body. We have guides and angels, ascended masters, but also demons, reptilians and more. The confusion becomes even bigger as we realize that over time, as we incarnated over and over into this physical reality, not only has the physical body been interfered fault with, but also our energy bodies have been interfered fault with. The physical body, as many remember was not prone to disease and death. The energy bodies allowed us to stay in touch with everything that was not within this physical reality. Now before we incarnated into this physical reality we were like the guides, angels, masters and all other non-physical beings. Over time we have gotten stuck within this physical reality, partly because we wanted to learn more about it, partly because we got trapped by other beings. The reasons are so many that at this moment it really doesn't matter as we all have had our part in this. Now we come to the dark and light. Many consider us the light, we are light. Anyone who wants to control and do us harm is dark light. We are being taught we must become more light. In a way, the same thing many religions teach, as becoming more light is just another way of saying you should or must become a better person. Now there are many realities out there, earth is just one and our reality interacts in many ways with realities of other beings out there. Some of them are friends, hey want to help us become what we once were, a non-physical being experiencing this reality. Others are not, they would like us to stay stuck within this physical reality, not realizing or knowing that we are not physical. Why do they want this? The stories out there are plenty and it is hard to find the truth within all of that, as the truth is probably a combination of parts of these stories. We do know there are beings out there that are trying to take our energies. Some of them are physical beings like us, some are not. Why do they want our energy? Some think it's because we are so called light and they are dark. And light must be more powerful than dark that's why they want it. If this was true why, if we are so much light, are they powerful enough to take our energy? Some think if we are aware of how they do this we can prevent it. But knowledge alone doesn't mean anything if you cannot see it. Being aware of bad people, physical or spiritual doesn't mean anything, as just like in the physical reality, we cannot always prevent bad things from happening. And of course, what is bad? In our physical reality at this moment we only must look at the new president. Half of the country thinks he is bad, the other half thinks he is good. It all depends on what you believe at the moment.
the same is true in a way for all the spiritual beings out there. It's all about what you know and can see and understand, and this can only come from being aware of everything. For the spiritual reality this is true as well. We can only really see what is good or bad if we can see the whole picture of what is happening. There is so much more to this that cannot be explained in words, but can only be experienced and this is what we I think must look for. We can have everyone telling us what is happening, or what we are, we can only know by experience. I can tell you what I have experienced, I can try to explain what I can see, but even my knowledge is limited at this moment as a full connection with every part of my being is not complete. I have reached many parts of me that are not within this reality, I have been able to see other realities. Can I explain everything? Not really, I can only explain from a human view and partly spiritual view, combined might be more than just the human view. It is not complete. I can see the energies which allows me to remove any obstacles that are in the way of seeing more, and I can do this for myself and others. But it remains limited as my full knowledge and awareness is not complete. I do know the fear of dark that we are taught is part of the control. I have seen within every being that they have the so called dark and light, positive or negative, and it is in everything around us. We cannot see anything if it's dark, but we cannot see the light if there was no darkness. Even within our physical body, everything relies on positive and negative light or dark whatever names you use. When you look at the yin and yang symbol you see the two opposing side, yet each opposing side also has a small place for the other side. We would be able to walk, just simply walk if there was not an opposing energy that we push up against to walk. We cannot see the energy, but it is there. Energy is all that we are, but is also all around us. As humans we experience the energy of the physical as solid, the air that is around us is energy, we experience that as fluid, yet we cannot see it. Humans are taught to only see the physical, and many times we are taught to ignore the spiritual, except for the teaching to become a better person and go back to some place called heaven. Yes, once you reach that so called heaven after death. No matter what you end up back incarnating upon earth, and going through becoming a better person again to reach that heaven. No matter what religion, even the ones that follow the Islamic religion believe that they must find a way to heaven, and they consider killing the infidels a way back to heaven. Like I said it is all about what you believe to be good or bad. Realizing that this reality is not real does help. As a human we are within this reality, once we realize that this is not the only reality we have set a step outside of the earth reality. From there we need to take more steps to become aware of why we are here, and from there we can either move out of this reality or make the choice to stay within it. We can also make the choice to move out if it and from that place assist others that would like to move out of it. This is not easy as we all know. As the opposing energies are not supportive, no matter if we put our own blocks up or others put up blocks. This gateway of the lunar eclipse is amplified by the comet that is passing by, allowing us to be able to see more of what is within our physical and spiritual reality. Inside the earth reality and outside of this earth reality. The eclipse combines the light and dark as the comet amplifies this combination opening a gateway that can reach further than ever before. This is supported by the energies that have been changing upon Earth. We will go through this portal to experience beyond the physical reality and even beyond our own experience of the spiritual reality.